what you need to know about power, energy and batteries. If you don't know the difference between power and energy, watch my previous videos, it's really important. Now here's why energy and power are important when you're buying a battery. A battery stores energy. The size of the battery is determined by how much energy it stores. So the size of a battery is measured in kilowatt hours. This is the Tesla Powerwall 2. It is a 13 and a half kilowatt hour battery. It stores 13 and a half kilowatt hours of energy. But it also has a power rating. The power rating is how quickly you can get the energy in and how quickly you can get the energy out. In other words, how quickly it charges and discharges. The Powerwall 2 charges and discharges at five kilowatts. So it's a 13 and a half kilowatt hour battery with a power rating of five kilowatts. Now let's think about how that affects a battery. I've got four batteries behind me. I'm using the analogy of a bucket storing water for a battery storing electricity. Top left, we have a low power battery. It stores a certain amount of energy, but as you can see, because the inlet and the outlet are quite small, you can only dribble the energy in and dribble the energy out. It's a low power battery. Top right, we have a high power battery. It stores the same amount of energy as the first one, but the inlets and the outlets, or the wires going in and out, are much fatter. So you can push water in at a much higher rate and you can get the water out at a much higher rate. You can charge it quickly, you can discharge it quickly. It's a high power battery. Bottom left, we have a low energy battery. So now we're looking at the size of the battery. It's quite small, so it can't store much water. It can't store much energy. Then we have a high energy battery. It stores a lot of water, a lot of electricity. So they're the four types of battery, depending on whether you're looking at power or energy. Now, kilowatt hours are obviously important when you're buying a battery because they determine how much energy you can store, i.e. how long it will last, how much energy it will deliver overnight. But power is important too. Because if the power's too low, you're going to struggle to charge it because your solar, at times, will be producing more power than the battery can take in. And you will struggle to power your home because at times your home will need more power than the battery can deliver. So look at power and energy when buying a battery.